No matter which project you're working on, you'll probably at some point need some kind of user interaction, whether it's a click of a button or something else. In this short video, I'll show you how to get text input from the user using Animate CC on a canvas. Uh, I have something uh, prepared for us already. Um, here I have a code. First I have a global variable called val that I'll use down here in a second. And then I have a container, it's part of create.js. If you don't know this library, create.js.com, it's a fantastic place. You should check it out. So I use this often. So use a container that I'll put on the stage and this in this container I'll put everything. First I'll put a button which is in my library, it's a general button. I have it over here, it's nothing fancy, it's just some <laughs> button that says OK. And I'll put that, I'll add that to the container. Oops, over here. Then I have a input field. Uh, it's my in my library input field underscore. It's not, not there yet, but let's make one then. So it's a new movie clip. And uh, in this movie clip, I'll uh, put a component that comes with the HTML5 canvas here. In this case, it is a text input field. I'll put it uh, here and I'll give it under properties. I'll give it an instance name of answer box. This name is important to remember. Answer box is the instance name here. And if I go back and have a look at the uh, code here, I now have an input. No, I did don't yet. I have to give it a linkage name of input field underscore. So uh, that is my library and that is added to the container. Now if I run this, I get a button and an input field. So that is very nice, and I can write in here, but it is really, really small, <laughs> and that's what we're going to change now. Um, so in order to change that, uh, we'll go into components and we'll use CSS. So I'll add that over here, and um, in properties, I can give it an instance name. It's not that important my CSS like this and the CSS is in um, I put it here together with the document so I made just I right click and then new this is in Danish and then text document this will give you a document then I named it styles.css and in here this is all that's in here I can open it with notepad here uh, it is a uh, pound and then answer underscore box hey that is the same name that we had uh, given the text field so the instance name in animate CC is the same as the ID uh, here so a uh, pound and then answer underscore box curly brackets and all these codes here, uh, so the font size is 50 pixels and I want the text to be in the center bold and then this blue color and the uh, the border is uh, rounded a bit and uh, yeah. Um, all these things you can find here in W3Schools and Learn CSS. Here you can find Learn About Colors and Padding and fonts and everything that you need to know so so it's in here styles css so in animate cc i uh, press css and then i press this uh, pen over here and then i connect uh, the two documents there so style css and open and okay and now, uh, so in my library, 
in my input field again let, let's see on the properties I have this answer underscore box and now hopefully the magic happens here it is you can see rounded and this is the input field and looks good right but there's something missing you can see I would like the cursor uh, or the carrot to appear there in the middle so this is the next step so I don't have to press in order to write in the box inside the box so um, this is the uh, this this is the code that would make that appear so I have document dot get element by ID and then answer box which was the uh, the name I gave it dot and then focus uh, start parentheses and parentheses but for some reason if I uh, if I move this up here it will not work uh, this took me a while to realize <laughs> I don't know why so what I did was just wait a millisecond here I use again create JS I just pick a random name which is nothing and then I'll wait for a fraction of a second there and then I'll call the function called set carrot and then this function here will fire so now when I run this you can see that the cursor is blinking there as it should so that works uh, the next part I add an event listener to the bottom there up there when I click it will fire the function get value which is down here so the global uh, variable called val for value it will take document and then get element by ID and answer box and it will take the value and then it will show us that value here after that it will take the answer box it is the same command there all the time document document dot get element by ID and answer box and if I want this to disappear normally I would would have written a visible and equals true or equals false but in this case we use style and visibility and then hidden so let's see how that works over here random number I press OK and it says this is the value and when I press OK it disappears magic yes it is now for um, let's see if I want to write something inside the box I can do that again document get element by ID and answer box and the value and if I want to have percent this is what I had in my project here it looks like this so that looks stupid <laughs> percent 50 so I need to get around this and I found this nifty little code here uh, online so let's uncomment this so um, so it's these two functions uh, that together will make me uh, set the carrot to any position that I want so I have this function set carrot to position which is down here so in this case it will take the answer box and it will uh, put the carrot or the point uh, sorry, the cursor to the front position zero so if I do this and run this now I have the carrot or the cursor there in front now I can write 50% if I press OK, it will say 50%. If I press OK, it disappears. I think this covers most of uh, what we need when you have to work uh, with uh, or on a canvas in Animate CC and you, have to, you want to work with these text boxes or text fields.